20 years ago, I was struck by a motor vehicle. Um, subsequently to being struck, I was also dragged uh, for around 80 to 100 yards, and it caused a spinal cord injury at the T4, 5, and T6 level. And it was a complete sever of the spinal cord. Life for anybody in a wheelchair, it's a constant struggle. When you see somebody that's paralyzed, you kind of just see the chair and kind of figure, okay, well, they can't walk or they can't use their legs. But you, you don't really see the whole entity of what the struggle really is in their life. From the moment you wake up, everything is just completely difficult. From the moment you get hurt, everything is turned around 360 degrees. You really have to start your life over, and you really have to struggle to get a life. Even though I'm hurt and I need a chair to get around, I feel extremely lucky because I have the use of my arms. I have the use of my hands. In spinal cord injury, an inch is everything. You take that inch away from the spinal cord and you get a person that's a quadriplegic that can't use their hands. And the life becomes 10 times, 20, 100 times harder. And that's why I say I'm lucky because I can't use my hands. I can do everything that I do. But when it comes to a quadriplegic, they can't do the basic necessities and they need somebody there 24 seven to help them. So with stem cell research and stem cell treatment, if stem cell treatment can just give them an inch, it would give them their life back. It would give somebody the ability to feel their baby's face. It would give somebody's ability to not use a breathing machine at night. I know that it would help me a lot, but I know it would help them a lot more. It would give me a lot more things in my life. It would probably bring a lot more function. It would probably help out with my pain. In reality, I would love to see it work for the individuals that are spinal cord injured that are quadriplegics. I really would love to see it work because for them, an inch is everything.